This conference will now be recorded. Hello, DBS. Welcome to our YouTube channel, Oracle Ride. And today I'm taking 16th session of uh, my series, Master Oracle 19C database in a minute. So today I will discuss about uh, optimal flexible architecture. So we called as OFA. So OFA basically are the rules uh, which uh, are a set of configuration guidance guidelines created to ensure well organized Oracle installation and which simplifies uh, administration support and maintenance and OFA rules help you to organize the database software and configure databases to allow multiple databases of different versions owned by different users to coexist. So by default, Oracle Universal Installer places Oracle database components in directory locations and with permissions uh, in compliance with OFA rules. So Oracle recommends that uh, you configure all Oracle components in accordance uh, with OFA guidelines. So Oracle requires that you accept the OFA default and following of OFA rule is especially of uh, value if the database is large or if you plan to have multiple databases. So Oracle databases support multiple Oracle homes. You can install uh, uh, a latest release or earlier release of the software more than once on the same system in different Oracle home directories. Okay, so careful uh, selection of mount mount point names can make Oracle software easier to administer uh, the, the, the the databases and configure uh, configuring multiple Oracle homes in compliance with OFA rules provide uh, many advantages. So first advantages is uh, you can install this release or earlier release of the software more than once on the same system in different Oracle home directories. Uh, however, you cannot install it product from one release of Oracle database into an Oracle home directory of a different release. Okay. Second benefit is multiple databases of different version owned by different user can exist uh, concurrently. So let me show you who is the user. So I, I ID Oracle. So Oracle is the user uh, whose group is uh, uh, OInstall and a DBA group. So and other groups like uh, Backup DBA, DGDBA, KMDBA, RAG DBA, and uh, OPER also. <clears throat> so this is the user who is the owner of uh, this uh, Oracle uh, database software binaries as well as Oracle database. So uh, if I if I show you what is my Oracle home. Uh, so uh, yesterday we did that actually uh, in my last session. So you can uh, you can check uh, my 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 that uh, video. So that is uh, so this is my Oracle home. Okay, <clears throat> so th this is the general uh, uh, general uh, you can say OFA structure. Uh, where uh, it is start uh, from mount point uh, uh, that is uh, uh, U. So first is a mount point name, second is standard directory name, third name of the owner of the directory, fourth the version of the software and the, the next is uh, uh, type uh, of installation. If it is a database, then it shows DB home. If it is the client, then it shows client. If it is a grid uh, is infrastructure, then it is grid. And after that, uh, there is optional counter, which enables you to, uh, to install the same product more than once in the same Oracle base directory. Like database one, we had DB home underscore one. For databases two, we had uh, DB home underscore two. So in this uh, in this path, you can see that uh, U01 app Oracle product uh, 19 and DB home instead of DB home, I use DB underscore one. So it depends. Okay, so you can use uh, DB home underscore uh, uh, one 
uh, or you can use uh, db underscore one it's it's up to you okay uh, oracle home or oracle base cannot be a uh, sim links or nor can any of their parent directories all the way to up to the uh, root directory okay so you can start your mind point from u01 u02 u03 u04 so the first slash it starts root directory then second uh, slash u01 uh, slash it is a user data mount point one then slash u01 slash app slash uh, that is subtree for application software then uh, you had a slash u01 app uh, slash oracle that is oracle base directory for user so like that it, it goes actually okay so i was talking about uh, the advantages so uh, multiple databases of different version owned by different user can coexist concurrently to install oracle database software in multiple oracle homes you must extract the image file in each oracle home and then run the setup wizard from the respective oracle home you must install a new oracle database release in a new oracle home that is uh, separate from earlier releases of oracle database okay you cannot install multiple releases in one oracle home oracle requires that you create a separate oracle database home for each release according to OS guidelines and in production oracle database server software release is the release number in the format of major and ru release number for example uh, release number 19.3.0.0.0 uh, the major release in 19 and the ru release number is 3 in that and later oracle database releases can access earlier oracle uh, oracle database releases Oracle database can be installed in the same Oracle database home if, if both product are at the same uh, database level. Structured organization of directories and files and consistent, consistent naming for database files, simplified database administration and login home directories are not at risk when database administrators add, moves or delete Oracle home directories. So you can test software upgrades in an Oracle home in a separate directory from the oracle home where your product production database is located okay so this is a little bit about the oracle database uh, uh, guidelines for uh, according to the OFA so I hope uh, this uh, this OFA guidelines you guys are following in your environment because I have seen in my job experience uh, uh, many people have uh, their own uh, mount point according to the organization but my recommendation is follow the OFA so that uh, uh, if uh, any fresher uh, or any DBA is joining the company so he can understand the structure which is Oracle recommended okay so that's it from my side for today's session I hope it will add uh, add you uh, add something in your uh, DBA knowledge and uh, thanks uh, for watching my series and don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel oracle ride uh, if you do this it will motivates me and also you will get the notification whenever i'm uploading a video thanks again for being here and happy learning bye